This has been an amazing night. Can we, can we throw some lights on the audience? Can we throw some lights on the audience, please, Zach? Nice. Hello! You guys are beautiful. Look at this all the way up. Gorgeous. Thank you all for being here tonight. This is very special for us. And now you're going to be part of the band as well, because this next song you're going to sing with us. It's called Empty Walls. In this fifth and final episode of Spots, we shine a light on a particularly beautiful spot on Cal State Northridge's campus. One that not only serves as a place to spend time with between classes, but reveals its full magic by night. Built in 2011 for an impressing amount of $125 million, the Valley Performing Arts Center had been modernly designed to serve as a cultural hotspot for high-class arts performances. Since 2014, its multidisciplinary programming has been further expanded through the efforts of executive director Thor Steingraber. So the thing I think about every day is how I can bring in a diverse mix of people to the same performance. Two weeks ago we had uh, Serge Tankian who attracted a lot of young people. He, of course, is the lead man for System of a Down, a heavy metal band. And we had all of these Armenian people who follow Serge's life as an Armenian activist. To put those people side by side is the ultimate goal in diversity. A diverse program on a diverse campus. What else is there for students to discover? Where Nordhoff Street and Lindley Avenue intersect, people from all over get together at the cultural heart of the valley. Often overlooked by most students, the VPAC plays host to a plethora of hidden treasures. With an eyesight of the film and music departments, there's a castle in the woods, pointing its gate at the students. I think one of the things that's really interesting is that VPAC in its early days was like a nighttime venue. And one of the things that's been really important to me is to enliven the venue all day long, right? So we open the lobby a couple of days a week for students to study in, which is just useful. The Valley Performing Arts Center is accessible to you, whatever you study, whoever you are. That's really important to me. In the wooded front yard, you might see music students rehearsing for concerts, some of which take place inside the VPAC. Same for theatre students, who will play the critically acclaimed musical In the Heights at the VPAC in spring. Recent, rather cautious attempts to promote the venue to other students include sending the dance company Diablo to tour campus for a week, and opening the lobby Tuesday through Thursday mornings. Still, among the more than 40,000 students bustling across CSUN's campus, the venue seems like an insider's secret. Meanwhile, frequent visitors know that even something as ordinary as Californian climate might provide a persuasive reason to come. Well, for one, it's usually the coolest spot, I think, on campus, especially on, on hot days. And I'm a theater major, and this is right around where we have a lot of classes for, for me acting specifically and, and others, and this is a good spot to rehearse. It's nice and open. It's, I don't know, it's just, it's a beautiful spot. I really like it. Another beautiful spot is just a stone's throw away. A relic from the blooming time of San Fernando Valley citrus industry, the Orange Grove features not only a solar and a stellar telescope, but also a pond to relax at. An offer usually less accepted by students, or humans in general, than by an unexpectedly vivid wildlife. As night begins to fall, you might get the impression that lights are guiding your way to the VPAC. So, after being only mildly frequented during the daytime, what is it that draws people to the venue now, just before the show starts? At nighttime, you know, look, I think the thing that's really great is we've got this great courtyard, we've got a great rooftop bar and patio upstairs, and you know, there aren't that many places to hang out, eat and drink around here, so one of my goals kind of is to get people to think of this as a destination, not just as a performance. Come early and stay late. To live up to this motto, the VPAC not only provides a beautiful lobby to socialize in, but also frequently offers guests the opportunity to mingle with the artists themselves. This has been an unusually successful approach in a scene that one might assume would have the strongly reserved discretion common to the elite arts. Visiting the VPAC is an interesting experience for anyone. And are there always $12 tickets? Well, exclusively for CSUN students, that is. So why not give this spot a shot and see behind the glassy walls of the Valley Performing Arts Center?
You guys are fucking awesome. Thanks for being here tonight. Season Symphony Orchestra! Conductor John Rochino. Jessica Alvalar. Mr. Dan Monty. Congratulations. Erwin Khachigian. Jivan Gasparian Jr. We love you. Thank you so much.